I'm Austin. Um, this is Ashley. Uh, we're from Fairbanks, Alaska. So it's a kind of a combination of three different vehicles. It started from a 1982 Toyota pickup. Um, the back is a Toyota Chinook uh, from 78. And then the engine is from a 99 Forerunner. In 1980, Toyota had a SR5 model pickup that had this color scheme. So we kind of copied that but moved the lines further back so it matched the body lines of the Chinook better. We've never done fiberglass work and yeah. uh, it was uh, definitely a learning curve. Used to be a big hole here and on the other side where the old lights were and we couldn't find replacement lights. No one had them anymore. We looked everywhere. Uh, so we just filled them in with fiberglass and fiberglass is terrible. It hurts a lot. We wanted to go on this trip. That was where it started and we were yeah. trying to figure out what we wanted. And uh, he actually built a teardrop trailer because we thought that might be a good idea, have a separate vehicle. And uh, we camped out in it for one weekend and we're like, yeah, this isn't working. <laughs> I don't like a trailer, especially going through cities and stuff, which we did want to do. Hadn't really seen much of the cities before. Uh, so we scrapped it and he came across an old Toyota Chinook that looked like junk. So when he bought it and brought it home, I was like, what are you thinking? This is nothing. This is not never going to be anything. Uh, but over the last four years, we started building it up on our weekends and yeah, I'm really glad he bought it now. So <laughs> it's got four wheel drive. We've got this nice pop top here so we can both stand up completely straight walk around a little bit, we're never too cramped, uh, but because the top goes down, we can go through a drive through and we can fit in a Connex, and so that works pretty well. We've got a sink in there, an onboard compressor, we've got a little fridge, and we did something a little different with the bed, so instead of just a pull out, we did three separate platforms that we put onto rails. Uh, that gives us more storage down underneath the couch instead of it being like a little folded up bed couch. I'd say the, uh... The bumpers, having the high clearance and the storage in the front, um, saves a lot of space having, you we know, don't put our uh, dirty straps and our airlines up front and keep the dirty stuff out of the vehicle. Yeah, and he uh, custom designed and built all those to fit our vehicle specifically because obviously there aren't that many people who are like, I build bumpers for Toyota Chinooks that are also <laughs> part other vehicle. I think everything was just a learning curve. Um, we talked to other people who've built other vehicles. We, we, watch YouTube videos on how to do fiberglass, talk to people who've worked on fiberglass boats. We also did a lot of things wrong first and then yes. had to redo it. I think so. we could build it in half the time now. I want one in pink and then I can have one and he can have <laughs> his and then. First time we were really excited about camping on the beach because we're from Fairbanks, Alaska and we don't have beaches in Fairbanks, Alaska. So that was the one thing we were really looking forward to. We finally got to do it on the Olympic Peninsula and we didn't really research it or think about tides. And then we woke up in the middle of the night and the water was like a foot away from our vehicle and <laughs> we couldn't get off of the beach because there was a big log blocking the entrance that we, the part that we drove on was now underwater. So yeah. it ended up, we ended up having that foot before it went back down. So we were fine, but we were like, do we need a winch to a tree? And <laughs> we not get eaten by the tide. After this, I think we're gonna go to like North Carolina, make our way down the coast, go into Central America, Hopefully, we'd like all borders to be open before we go, and I know that's yeah. not maybe possible, but we'd like to kind of put that part off then so we can make a straight shot 